Well, hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Earlier this year, Roborock released an entirely new line of robot vacuums called the Q-Series. This series is designed to be a mid-tier offering and it sits between the lower end E-Series and the higher end S-Series. In this video, I will give you a brief overview of each model to help you decide which one might be right for you. The lineup consists of three different models, and each model is compatible with the new self-empty dock Pure, which can be purchased with the robot vacuum or separately down the road. This is great news since prior to this lineup, you had to spend almost $1,000 to get a Roborock with a self-emptying dock. The standalone retail price for the dock is $280. All of the robots in the Q series get smart navigation thanks to the use of LiDAR and include most all of the app features of the S series, including scheduled cleanings, multi-floor support, smart home integration, no-go zones, and individual room cleanings. Roborock also gives you their latest app features, including 3D maps, quick mapping, and routines. All of the Q-Series robots have a large 5200 milliamp battery with 180 minutes of runtime and feature recharge and resume. Let's start with the least expensive model in the lineup, the Q5, retailing for $429 for the robot alone. The Q5 Plus adds the self-emptying dock and increases the price to $699. The Q5 is a vacuum only robot and it should only be purchased if you specifically do not want your robot vacuum to mop, which may be beneficial for people with homes that are mostly carpeted. The Q5 uses Roborock's older style rubber and bristle roller brush, however you can purchase the newer all rubber roller and swap it out if you wish. With 2700 pascals of suction, the Q5 should perform equally as well as most of the more expensive S-Series models. There is a new removable dustbin design that is 470 milliliters in size, and it comes with an E11 rated EPA filter. Moving on to the Q7 series with a retail price of $529 for the robot only, the Q7 Plus adds the self-emptying dock and has a retail price of $799. The main difference with the Q7 over the less expensive Q5 is the addition of a basic mopping system, which is gravity fed from a rather smallish 180 milliliter water tank. The water tank is built into the mopping pad on the bottom of the robot, which is removable. There are a few upgrades when it comes to vacuuming. The Q7 gets Roborock's all rubber roller brush and an incredibly large 750 milliliter internal dust bin which is a first for Roborock. If you have large homes with pets, this might be a great option for you. Finally, at the top of the line, we have the Q7 Max with a retail price of $599 for the robot only. The Q7 Max Plus adds the dock, which has a retail price of $869. You get several more upgrades over the less expensive Q7, but you also sacrifice the larger dustbin which is back down to the standard 470 milliliters in size. The Q7 Max gets its name because it has a more powerful vacuum motor with 4200 pascals of suction. The internal dustbin is an all-in-one design that is part dustbin and part water tank. The water tank is rather large, 350 milliliters, and unlike the Q7, it is electronically fed, which means you can precisely control the water output and also shut the water flow off at any time. If you plan on using the robot vacuum to mop frequently, then this is the one to look at. I will have a full review out for the Q7 Max Plus in a week, so keep an eye out for that video. Finally, let's look at the new self-empty dock Pure. The dock is compatible with all of the Q series models and comes in all black or a very attractive white and black. The contents in the robot's internal dustbin get extracted through the roller brush opening in the robot vacuum. Then it travels up into the dock's internal 2.5 liter dust bag, which Roborock claims will give you about seven weeks of dust collection. Interestingly, this is the same dust bag found on the more expensive S7 Max V empty wash fill dock. There are no additional HEPA filters like those found on the slightly more expensive auto empty dock, although it does appear that you can purchase the auto empty dock separately and it will work with the Q-Series 
if a true HEPA filter is important to you. The more expensive empty wash fill dock is not compatible though. In my upcoming video review of the Q7 Max Plus, I will deep dive into the specs and performance of the new self empty dock pure, so be sure to subscribe if you have not already. I hope this video helped you get a better understanding of the many options consumers now have from Roborock with this new lineup. I would like to know from you what you think of these models and their pricing, so drop a comment below please. As always, thanks for watching and take it easy everyone. Bye bye.